been a few days since I cut them. I keep going back and forth between they look awful and they don't look that bad. I don't think they look that bad. I mean, they're way better than I thought they'd look, but they don't look perfect. But I'm going to try out a quick paint job. I've got uh, rust oleum satin. I tried doing a Magpul uh, FDE match, and it's pretty close. So it's not going to be perfect. We're just trying out different colors because we're fashionable. Let's get started. And we're back. I didn't go overboard taping it. It just happens uh, blue painter's tape is the exact width, so that's awesome. Trying to do a little better job getting this done. Sights are okay. They'll probably be replaced eventually anyway. We're just going to do a few light coats, so nothing overboard. Let's go paint. Bailing wire. Even if you don't ever plan on having hay, I use this stuff for everything and never knew I needed it until I bought it. It's like two bucks. Rust kind of easy, but uh, moving on. So you got your special bailing wire knot, which is just wrapped around once. And then it hangs conveniently at whatever level you choose. And then, just like your dad should have taught you, don't push the button until you move. A couple of light, quick sprays. Now, go sit down and go away. The hardest part I have is the patience, waiting for the first coat to dry. Everything on YouTube I ever read says you have to wait. Just do a light coat, and then wait, and then do a light coat, and then wait. It's an old can of spray paint, so it's a little runny with even just a few tiny sprays. But the cool thing is battle-worn, right? So rather than pay somebody to make it look like it got screwed up, I'm just going to screw it up. So after we do a few coats, it'll wear in nicely in the holster, and then it'll look like we uh, paid a professional. But already those lines look a lot more hidden, at least I think. Anyway. Stops rust. Hey, that's perfect. That's just what I need. Okay, I didn't wait long enough, but I'm going to put another really light coat on. Alright. Oh, it's looking decent. Okay. So I waited three days after putting on a couple of coats, and it's still tacky. Like, sticky tacky. And so it's a two-year-old can of spray paint. That might have something to do with it. It's cold and damp, and it's not usually. That might have something to do with it. Put on two or three coats. That might have something to do with it. Maybe it's the perfect storm of tackiness. So it's like a Dale Earnhardt velvet painting with elk antlers. It says alcoholic on it or something. But either way, uh, while it was tacky, I had my dirty fingers playing with it. And so it's picked up a few brown smears. Some of the uh, paints already come off on the front serrations, which is fine. It's a 10 cent paint job, and it looks like one. So there's, a, it's, you know, it's still a little shiny. Again, I'm just trying to check out the color, because eventually I'll do like a dur coat, like a nice thing. But I'm fickle, and I don't like commitment, so I'm going to see which colors look good. So far, this doesn't look too bad. I don't know if the light will actually show how it actually looks. It's a little little tanner. Anyway, so the developing saga of the 1923 is at least mostly protected from rust. It doesn't rust. Stuff doesn't rust much where I'm at, but we'll put a couple hundred rounds through it and figure out new stuff to do. We'll probably eventually get a set of um, the Trigicon copies, the Ameriglows. I have a set of their suppressor sights with the front orangey and the front glowy and the back plain. And I really like those, so they're like 70 bucks for a set. That might be a nice nice thing. And I have a buddy who has a whole can of this, pretty much this color, in like real paint, Duracoat. Not taupe satin from 
you know, $3 Walmart brand. Either way, so maybe we'll put a good coat on it and do a really good tape job with some more intent here. And then we'll figure out what else we could do. Maybe clean this up, eh? And then uh, I'm up for suggestions. All six of you, let me know. All right. Bye-bye.